Oh, I just love them. If it wasn't for my uh, mother or father, we probably would have starved to death. It was a deliberate act of barbarism, a genocide against the Ukrainian people. The last Saturday of every November is when Ukrainians worldwide remember the Holodomor, a man-made famine that happened in 1932 and 1933. It started when the Soviet regime, which ruled Ukraine at the time, seized every scrap of food from the country and left people there to starve. As we were entering the cemetery, there was a horse-drawn carriage. And on it, there was some bodies, about 12 of them, women and children. They put them in our uh, uh, grave, put some earth on top of them, and they put my uh, grandfather on top of them. And that's the way he was buried. Sonia Kushliak was just eight years old when Soviet officials began taking food from her family's village. To feed her family, Sonia's mother snuck into Russia to pawn clothing and valuables to buy bread. They threw her in jail for it. Her father worked as a forced laborer, given only a ration of a loaf of bread and soup each day. He gave me the bread to take home. And I remember. I was carrying that bread home, and I was so hungry. I was taking a little bit by bit, and I was eating. By the time I came home, there wasn't much left, and the family was waiting for that bread. I, every even now, I just feel so guilty for doing that. Professor Arrest Cap is acting director of the Center for Ukrainian Canadian Studies at the U of M. He's also the son of a Holodomor survivor. I think it's important for the world to know that this could happen again in various situations. And we're beginning to see some of that happen in Africa, Syria, where food is used as a weapon for political purposes. And I think this is what we have to prevent from happening in the, in the future. Ukrainian Canadians will be holding memorial services across Canada this weekend, including one at Winnipeg City Hall on Saturday. In Winnipeg, Shao Lee Lee, City News.